Happy Friday, everyone. It is Friday, March 5th, 2021. You've made it to the end of another week, and we are finishing our preparation for the divine service where God gives us his good gifts in word and sacrament. Uh, today, I just want to share a few thoughts with you in a, a little bit longer uh, passage from Romans. But uh, in the uh, spirit of sharing too much, I will tell you that was a week ago today that I got to have my first colonoscopy. Yes, I turned that magic 50 last year and COVID delayed me a little bit, but I got to experience that fun. And here's what I learned. As many had said before, the procedure itself isn't that bad. It's the preparation the night before that is the tough part. And here's what I learned. You know what? I can dress up. I can take a shower. I can put on this nice collar. I can put on a smile. I can come to church, act nice, be cordial, uh, share the word of God and all its truth and beauty. But as the night before my colonoscopy taught me, I am full of, yeah, that. We all are, aren't we? We're full. Full of it. We like to present ourselves as being good and upright people, but in the end, we are all poor, miserable sinners. And it takes a lot of work to clean you out. Jesus Christ did that for you on the cross. I want to pay, share with you from Romans chapter 3, beginning with verse 9. What then? Are we Jews any better off? No, not at all, for we have already charged that all, both Jews and Greeks, are under the law. As it is written, none is righteous. No, not one. No one understands. No one seeks God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. They are all full of, sorry, that was my part. Their throat is an open grave. They use their tongues to deceive the venom of asps is under their lips their mouth is full of curses and bitterness their feet are swift to shed blood and their paths are ruin and misery and the way of peace they have not known there is no fear of god before their eyes now we know that whatever the law says it speaks to those who are under the law so that every, every mouth may be stopped and the whole world may be held accountable to god for by the works of law, no human being will be justified in his sight, since through the law comes the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, we're full of it. All of us are. And Christ took all of that on himself when he died on the cross to save us from all of our you-know-what to cleanse us in our baptism and to give us life forever in him. It's all his work. It's all gift, and it's all good news. Let's continue with prayer. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, with all this talk of, you know what, I think you ought to go wash your hands. 
Make sure you do it long enough. Sing the doxology. Remember that you are clean in Christ. And so go about your day and have a great weekend thinking positive and testing negative.